But that's not what Allah wants. Allah wants you to develop taqwa in every aspect of your life. Most people, when they fast Ramadan, they think it's just about staying away from food and drink. One of the other things that uh, we were talking about yesterday as well, myself, Ustad Atim and some others, is this idea of being able to abandon everything apart from the ritual worship that we think is the only thing we should be doing in Ramadan. You know, it's not going to happen. Reality is, we still have to work, and many of us were working nine to five, if not more. Reality is, we're in the house, the, you know, the mothers are in the houses and the kids are still there. They still need to be taken care of, clothed, bathed, fed, everything else. You know, life doesn't stop so that we can just seclude ourselves just to read Quran and just to pray and just to fast and just to do this. But that's not what Allah wants. Allah wants you to develop taqwa in every aspect of your life. You're not going to be able to separate yourself from your normal life but Allah wants you to wants you to turn every part of your life into ibadah yani it reminds me of that statement of Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala when he says that the muhsin yani the highest level of iman the person of the highest level of iman he doesn't have what the fuqaha call the mubah deed where doing it and leaving it are the same he doesn't have this rather he turns every action that he does into ibadah how do you do that now, brothers and sisters, if you listen carefully, it's so easy to say this, but it's so, so difficult to actually do it. Why am I about to go to sleep so that I can gain strength to wake up and pray with full focus and concentration? Why am I about to eat this particular food now? Because it's not going to fill me too much and it's going to give me the energy that I need so I can pray for the sake of Allah and do the obligations towards my family, towards my neighbors, towards my friends, towards my colleagues, colleagues, uh, to, towards the employment that I have, everything. Allah wants us to change everything that we do. And even the sisters, you're going to have to cook, you're going to have to clean, you're going to have to do this, that and the other. But you could change that and make it ibadah. You could maximize every moment of your life by doing what? Just by saying, I'm doing this so I please my husband. So that we facilitate a good family life, especially during Ramadan. So there's nothing, no problems, no uh, harshness that occurs because of something not being quite right. So that it doesn't take us away from focusing on what Allah wants. Concentration in our ibadah, whether it's in the siyam, whether it's in the qiraatul quran whether it's in our prayer. Focus on everything being for the sake of Allah and you've just made the entire day from the moment you wake up to the moment you sleep rather including your sleep into ibadah. May Allah give us tawfiq. Amin, Amin, Sheikh. Uh, the last uh, mistake I suppose I could point out is many people, um, in fact I would say most people, when they fast Ramadan they think it's just about staying away from food and drink. In fact, fasting is supposed to be more than that. Imam Ghazali, rahimahullah, he mentioned that fasting is actually of three levels. The first is the fasting of the ordinary, the second is the fasting of the special, and the third is the fasting of the elite. And he said the first is people, they just stay away from food and drink, but they don't keep their tongues, their ears, and their eyes away from things which Allah has also prohibited. The second is the fasting of the special, and those people, they don't just stay away from food and drink, but also they protect their eyes and their ears, uh, and their bodies from engaging in the things that they know displease Allah. Then he went further and he said the third is a fasting of the elite and they fast with their hearts as well as their tongues, their ears, their eyes and their stomachs by always trying to think about Allah and losing focus about everything of this dunya. So think about what he said, reflect over your fast. It's not just about the food and drink you're putting to one side. It's also about thinking before you speak. It's about uh, lowering your gaze is about trying to make your heart attached to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah to give us a fast like this. Ameen. 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 Ameen.